The process shown in this video involves highly corrosive acids and should only done outside or in a fume hood. Using safety gear such as gloves, goggles and a respirator is mandatory. Take a very small piece of scrap alloy. Suppose that you are extracting or refining some scrap metal that you had thought was a simple alloy of copper and silver. And add a solution composed of equal parts, by volume, nitric acid and distilled water, 1, 1. Never add water to an acid, if you do, the acid will spit and react violently. Always add the acid to the water, slowly. The chemical dissociation of the ions produces heat one product of an exothermic reaction. If the acid is added to the water in a large quantity and too fast, heat may be generated so fast that the containing vessel will burst. When large additions of an acid are required, you must only add a small amount at a time and let the reaction cool down in between. Now, filtration step then washing several times. Then add the little water to the solution. The silver will soon go into solution. You now have a solution containing free silver ions. This is dissociation in the form of a salt dissolved in water. You have performed half of a redox the oxidizing half and you are left with a clear acid solution of silver ions. Now, drop a hydrochloric acid, drop by drop, into the solution. At once, a cloudy, curdy white precipitate is formed. Silver chloride, silver 1 chloride. Then washing a several times, and let a few moments in the sun in order to change color from white to gray.
In order to collect silver chloride, silver 1 chloride, in an easy way, we must add some iron to bucker and pour sulfuric acid on it. In order to wash off the remaining silver chloride, I add a little bit of sulfuric acid. 